So whether it's due to a lack of time, experience, or sometimes even patience, most of us would rather hire a professional to paint the inside of our home. However, if you're blessed with those attributes, we've got decorative painter Marissa Bridge here with us today to show us some tips on how to turn your normal flat or glossy walls into true works of art. Marissa, let's start with veiling. Okay, veiling is a technique where you take thin washes of glaze, mm -hmm. and a glaze is when you take acrylic paint and thin it with water, or oil paint and thin it with turpentine. Then you take two big brushes and you're going to apply it in a zigzag pattern with a wet brush and go immediately afterwards and use a dry brush to even it out. Okay, and what effect does that give the wall? Well, what it does is it gives the wall depth and color without a lot of texture. Great, let's move on. The next technique we're going to talk about is strie. And strie is when you take your glaze and a very stiff brush Using your steady hand, you pull straight across. And this one takes a lot of patience, right? It does, because you have to pull every direction separately. So the verticals were done, then they had to dry 24 hours, and then we did the horizontals to give that unique pattern. Great, all right, let's move on. All right, so this next technique is a little more complicated, but it's also a lot of fun. Go ahead, tell us how to create an imitation wood grain with paint. Okay, well the first thing I would do is I would decide what color base coat I want. Mm -hmm. A light base color is good for wood such as pine, and a dark base coat is good for wood such as oak or ipe, which this is. Okay, so step by step, how does the process work? Okay, the first thing I do is I would take, a, again, a wide, stiff brush, mm -hmm. and I would lay in my large grain pattern. Mm -hmm. Then when that's dry, I'll take a very fine brush and I'll do the small grain. Okay, it sounds a little time consuming. How long does it take end to end? Well, this door could easily take a couple of days, but I would suggest if someone wants to try it, mm -hmm. to get a piece of wood that they want to copy and practice first. Great, practice makes perfect. On to the next room. Darby, now I'm going to show you a technique that anybody can do. It's called stippling. Oh, this is the one I really want to learn. How does it work? Well, the first thing you do is you take your paint and you put a two foot by two foot section on your wall. Mm -hmm. Then while the paint is wet, you take your stipple brush, which you can get at any paint or hardware store, and you gently press into the wet paint, creating your pattern. See, now I like this one because it seems like it'd be a good choice for a beginner or someone with no talent like me. <laughs> it is. Stippling is very forgiving and it hides a lot of flaws. In your walls and in your work. That too. All right, great. All right, so Marissa used more subtle colors and lighter textures in this apartment, but at our next stop, she used darker colors and more prominent textures. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we are in apartment number two, and what you see behind us is another example of the veiling technique. Although this room feels dramatically different to me, Marissa, can you explain why? Sure, this room is a more contemporary feel, uh -huh. and we used a light base coat and several layers of a darker glaze, which gives that shimmering effect and the contrast that you like. Okay, and how long does it take to veil a room? Veiling is very quick. You can do five or six coats in a day. Great, all right, we have one more tip for you. Let's go. Darby, now I'm gonna to talk to you about one of my favorite techniques, ragging. What we do with ragging is we start with a base color, then using a different color as a glaze, we work in two foot by two foot sections. We wet our rag and we squish it up into a very small ball with lots of wrinkles. Okay. Using this surface, we dab the paint, giving the ragging pattern that you see behind us. Okay, so the more you dab at the wall, the less intense the contrast is gonna be. That's correct. Great, so any tips for our homeowners if they wanna try any of these projects at home? Sure, I would say have fun, be bold, be creative, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's really easy to repaint a wall. So nothing's permanent. That's correct. All right, guys. So time, creativity, and patience. Those are the three keys to a successful painting project. But if you have those, you're never going to look at your walls the same way again.